in your role as a microbiologist here in Temple Street, mm -hmm. why is data quality important? So one, one of my all-time favourite quotes is from W. Edwards Deming, who said, in, in God we trust, all others bring data. And I think that's at the heart of everything that we do in healthcare, you know, from the direct interaction with the patients all the way up to looking at the entire healthcare system. So for me, I think having good quality, reliable data uh, is, is, is critical to everything that we do. If I go to see a child in, in the hospital, I need to know that the data on their temperature chart or their laboratory results, that all of these things are reliable. But the same thing applies if we want to look at how well a team is performing in the hospital or we want to improve a service um, or we want to look at how uh, ha, uh, look at the level of safety or uh, the, the quality of the overall service in the hospital. We have to have good, reliable data. Delivering healthcare is one of the most complex things that we do as a, as a species. And in order to navigate that complexity, you have to have good data. And in some ways, having good data is a bit like having your map and compass if you're out in the wilderness. If you have those, you can navigate, you can find your way. If you don't, you're lost. Um, and it's very easy to get lost in healthcare because of the, uh, of the complexity. Well, one example uh, is a, a project that, uh, that I was involved with around the quality of our antibiotic prescribing um, here in Temple Street. Um, what we did was we started to do regular audits of um, our antibiotic prescribing, looking at the quality of that prescribing, was it in line with um, our guidelines, were the indications properly documented and so forth. Um, but what was important with this was that we, not just that we collected the data, but that we fed the data back regularly to our prescribers and we allowed the prescribers to then come up with the interventions, come up with the improvements based on those data. And then we were able to show that the interventions made a difference because we were able to see that the data uh, improved. Um, and very quickly we got to the point where we had 100% compliance with our antibiotic guidelines. Not only that, but the number of uh, medication errors uh, decreased and we saved money. So this was all something that was very much driven by sitting down and saying, what data do we need to collect? How are we going to collect it? How can we ensure that it's reliable? And how do we best feed it back to the people who can then act on those data? So another example from here in Temple Street uh, was the establishment of our short stay unit, uh, which is run by our, our uh, uh, emergency department. Um, and this was based on looking at data around the number of admissions, length of stay, uh, wait times in the emergency department and also the number of elective surgeries that were getting cancelled because we didn't have enough beds available. And by looking at these data, these were used to um, uh, establish this short stay unit where children who otherwise would end up being admitted to the hospital and staying for a number of days uh, are brought in and they can just be observed for a couple of hours uh, before they go home. So it's, a, it's, it's freeing up inpatient beds and we've shown that that has resulted in a reduction in waiting times in the emergency department, but it's also um, uh, reduced the number of uh, elective surgeries that are, uh, that, that are cancelled. Um, and the only way that we were able to make the case for establishing this unit in the first place and being able to show that it was working was by having good data and making sure that the right people were looking at the right data um, and, and interpreting it correctly. So I, I think like a lot of uh, physicians, um, I would always have been a little bit skeptical uh, about things like audit and quality improvement and 
um, these sort of approaches that sounded a little bit too much like management speak. But probably about five or six years ago, I had my road to Damascus moment where I was involved with a, a quality improvement project and I remember being on the, the day ward here in, in Temple Street and collecting data, observing what was happening. And it suddenly clicked with me going, this is something that was a process that we'd been trying to improve for years and getting nowhere with. But suddenly because we were taking the time to step back observe, measure, feedback to the staff in that unit, suddenly we were getting traction, suddenly we were getting improvement and that improvement was being sustained. And, and I have to say, I've, I have been a convert ever since. Um, and, and now, whenever I approach any sort of a, a, a problem or an issue, one of the first questions I ask is, how do we measure this? How do we get good data that we can use to actually understand what's happening and to improve it.